Snowflake Worksheet is the most accessible and simple way to transform and query the data that you store in Snowflake. Today, I'm going to take a quick look at the worksheet while finding the answer to a simple question within one of my databases. Immediately upon logging into Snowflake, the worksheet is the first tab that's open to me, so I can start digging into one of my datasets which contains all of the building permits in San Francisco since the 1970s. With all the excitement of the Warriors and their latest championship, Everyone in San Francisco is talking about their new stadium. I wonder how much it cost, and if it's over budget. Let's see if we can figure that out in a minute or two with the powerful Snowflake worksheet. To answer this question fast, I need to get to the right data set and the right query as fast as possible. The new worksheet makes it easy to search the numerous databases in my account and identify the right tables as well. I have three different tables that I might use to answer this question, and I can preview all of them in moments to find just the right one. The JSON set, I can see, isn't going to be very helpful, because the data is still in its native format and hasn't been flattened into something that I can query with SQL. Looking at the permit sheet, on the other hand, we can see that there's 77.7 .7 megabytes worth of data in a million rows, and it's been broken out into columns and rows in a way that would be a little bit more useful. The permits flattened table, on the other hand, has 82.1 megabytes worth of data. I'm not really sure what the difference is between permits flattened and permits, but it's certainly clear that permits flattened has the most data, and I'm going to use that one to try to answer my question. Now, in order to start actually figuring out uh, which one of these records is the New Warriors Stadium, of course I'm going to need to uh, query the data itself. You'll notice a lot of things happened relatively quickly there when I queried the data. Snowflake identified a warehouse, the default warehouse that I have set to this account, and automatically used that so I didn't have to worry about it. Very quickly you saw that the run button turned to an abort button so I could have canceled the query if it was giving me trouble. And then down below we have, in 72 milliseconds, a million rows returned from the entire database and quite a few columns as well. In fact there are so many columns it's a little bit difficult to actually see what I'm trying to get to here, but it gives me a good idea of the types of things that may be useful for me. For instance, if I'm looking at the description field here, I can widen that out and see that it's going to contain a lot of information that's probably going to be useful to me when I'm looking for the stadium record itself. But I think it's still going to be useful for me to filter down a little bit. And I know that the proposed use for the stadium is a recreation building and I also know that the neighborhood is Mission Bay. Let's see if this returns a slightly smaller result set. And there we go, we're down to only 10 records which is a lot more usable. And I'm just going to filter down to just the description, creation date, existing use, uh, proposed use, revised cost, and estimated cost, because those are the only fields that are really important to me to be able to use in this particular question. I'll also use this quick filter to just go down to sports, and you can see that we've identified the correct row for the New Warrior Stadium, and we can see that the estimated cost is $537 million, and the revised cost is $780 million. So in just a couple of minutes here, we've already filtered down, answered our question, found information about the Warriors Stadium, and if we have the need to, we can go back and look at any of the individual queries that I've run in the past, and even take a look at the detailed query plan and profile that will tell me more about the individual queries that I've run for this particular question. Now, inevitably, uh, as, as you're working through any problem, the minute that you find something useful, your browser is going to completely shut down and leave you someplace that you don't want to be. Luckily, with the new Snowflake worksheet, we can just go ahead and log right back in, and it will autosave and bring us back to the correct place in the worksheet. So here we are, all of our worksheet data is saved, and of course I can export and copy that data if I want to save it to my local machine as well. In just a couple of minutes with the Snowflake worksheet, we've been able to filter down to the correct data set and table that we needed to answer our question, and then use the worksheet to interactively query the data and find the information that's useful to us.